What's up, this is Ryan with Planet Cheapskate. In this video, we are going to be discussing the five habits to get you through your mortgage process super, super fast. So what do I mean by that? I will give you common things you can begin to do today that will streamline your loan process and do everything within your power to prevent your chances of your closing being delayed. Doing these things will set you up for success going forward, regardless of the lender you decide to use. Now be sure to also stick around to the very end of this video for three special loan hacks that I haven't heard anyone else talking about that can eliminate days of waiting on your loan to be ready for closing. But first, I'd just like to take a very brief moment to personally invite you to subscribe and join our community. I do a home loan rate update every Friday going into the weekend, along with new videos on Thursdays helping you manage through the world of credit, investing, real estate, and home loans. Also, when you do subscribe, be sure to hit that little bell and it will alert you whenever I release fresh content. Now with all that out of the way, let's dive right in. So the first habit I'd suggest is to sign up and install some sort of credit monitoring software or application. This is more to track changes to your credit and whether they are positive or negative. Now keep in mind, Every one of these monitors uses what are called scoring models. Even the programs you get directly from the credit bureaus use these same scoring models. Because of this, the simulated scores are going to be less accurate than the scores that would be pulled directly from the credit bureaus when a potential lender or creditor does a soft or hard credit pull. So why do they use these scoring models? Well, the reason is quite simple. Each time a single hard or soft credit pull is done, it costs money and the data gathered and requester is logged. So what typically happens when you use these applications is they will do a monthly soft credit pull and then have monitoring for any changes you might may make throughout the month until your next soft credit pull. So the changes between the soft pull dates will be simulated to save the company providing you credit monitoring money. So why do they agree to spend this money on giving you a free monthly soft pull, daily credit monitoring, and simulated updates? because they are banking on the statistics that when you decide to sign up for another credit card or loan, that you will use one of the lenders or creditors that have paid them big bucks to appear on their application or website. When you do this, they not only get the reoccurring advertising payments from the credit card companies or lenders, but they also get a referral fee for you signing up. So use credit monitoring to track the changes, but don't have too much faith in the actual score the service provides. The reason this is a very important habit to begin when buying a home and going through the mortgage process is the better your credit scores, the better and cheaper your mortgage rate will be. You'll also find the whole mortgage process is much easier and faster when you have excellent credit. You are seen as less of a credit risk for the lender. The second habit you should 100% get into is to review your bank account statements once a week. I like to print out the PDF versions of them so that they're easier to read and to write on. So what am I looking for? Well, I look at my deposits and my withdrawals. If I see anything large outside my house payment or paycheck, I'll write a little description of what the deposit or withdrawal was all about. I also keep an eye on any automatic bill payments to make sure there haven't been any recent increases or decreases in these payments. So why is this a great habit to start? Well, once you get pre-approved, your loan officer is going to want to see your previous two months bank statements. So this gets you familiar with finding the PDF versions online and printing them off. It also helps with notating your large deposits or withdrawals, which is oftentimes a huge roadblock to a speedy clear to close. Finally, being aware of any reductions or increases in your monthly debts can directly affect your mortgage rate as your debt to income is oftentimes a factor in determining the pricing of your interest rate. So the third habit is one you really should consider hanging onto your whole life. First, get a safety security box that you can put any important documentation into. I actually recently found one of these in a home purchase and opened it up and unfortunately there was nothing in there that was like a check or any sort of money or anything. But you're gonna wanna take this box and you're gonna wanna add any of your personal important documents into it. So what am I referring to when I say important? I'm referring to your W-2s, 1099s, tax filings, any other sort of tax document you may receive. Keep copies of your ID, passport, social security, and driver's license in this box. 
The bank statements we spoke about from the last habit, keep those in there too. If you were ever in the military or received any sort of recognition, that documentation should go in there as well. Begin by printing off your actual pay stubs and during the mortgage process, keep those in the box too. So why do all this? Well, all these items will be needed once you apply for pre-approval. And if you have them like this all together, it's going to give your loan officer all the fuel he needs to make your loan soar through the loan process. I can't tell you how many times I've not received all the documentation that I need to issue a pre-approval and waiting on the borrower has delayed the loan process, it's delayed their pre-approval, and it's also delayed them from getting the house that they wanted to make an offer on. Have all this together and things are gonna fly forward. The fourth habit you should start while going through this process is to begin monitoring and following the average mortgage rates. This is actually a great habit to keep even after your closing as you will have a good idea of when it may make sense for you to reach out to your loan officer about refinancing your home. I do a weekly mortgage rate update every Friday going into the weekend for folks out looking, but it's also a great tool for you to use to see what I'm able to get by shopping around with some of the most competitively priced lenders in the nation. There's also a site called Fred that I will link in the comments below, but keep in mind this doesn't separate the different loan products. It's just all together what the average rates look like in any given date. By keeping up with the typical rates, it will help save you from needing to shop around with a ton of different lenders or brokers. As long as they're all pretty close to the Fred site or what I'm quoting you, you should be in very good hands. However, be extra careful that they aren't charging you a ton of points to get that beautiful rate. Points are sometimes okay, but an honest and respectful loan officer should always explain they are there and why they think it's an all right situation for paying points. The fifth and final habit I can suggest while going through the mortgage process is to drive the neighborhoods you like if you haven't found a home yet. I say this because more and more agents and home sellers are not putting their homes online on sites like Zillow or Realtor.com and electing to use more local and agency level methods to sell their home first before listing on the MLS or other networks. Some of the best properties for sale may never make it to one of these online sites. Another reason to get into the habit of driving the neighborhood is to allow you to assess the value of the area and possibly predict if you could have appraisal problems. Is your home the finest on the block? Well, that could be a problem as other homes in the area could bring down the value of yours. Or is your home in bad shape compared to the other homes in the area? This could be a sign that you have a huge hidden equity opportunity. So as promised, three amazing loan hacks that nobody's talking about that can get you to the closing table ultra fast. Now the first hack I've actually never ever heard anybody out there on YouTube talking about. So this is going to be an exclusive loan hack that is awesome. So during the loan process, at some point you will receive an initial CD or closing disclosure. So these figures are not final and are subject to change slightly in certain areas, but one of the next steps after you are clear to close is for the lender to balance the CD with the title company. Now the lender isn't able to send over the CD until after you are clear to close, but there is nothing that prevents you from sending a copy of the initial CD over to your title or closing agent to get an early start on balancing the final figures for closing. This is exactly what I recommend you do. Once you get the CD, send a copy over to the title company and ask if they can use it to get an early start on balancing your final figures. The second loan hack involves CCing your updated home insurance documents with the lender and title. Oftentimes these documents get forgotten until the very end and have to be tracked down by the processor at the last minute. By sending these documents to your processor and title company, you are removing an extra potential step from their many, many responsible tasks. So this last loan hack is just advice. I'm not in any way directing you or urging you against your own judgment on what to do, but I would heavily advise you to consider and look into waiving the three day wait after your appraisal is delivered. If you choose to keep this waiting period, then it will make it mandatory that you must wait three days after you get a copy of your appraisal. And in many areas, the appraisal is sometimes the only item the lender is waiting on to get you a clear to close. So this could delay your closing by three days versus waiving the waiting period and being able to close as soon as your appraisal report is received. So there you have it 
five habits that will get you through your mortgage process fast, along with three never before revealed loan hacks that will have you at the closing table in absolute warp speed. Please leave a comment below if I missed anything or if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. And listen, if you gained value or knowledge from this video, do me a huge favor and smash that like button so more people just like you can see this info. And if you liked this video, I'd like to invite you to watch one of my other videos. Over here, I walk you through the complete home buying process step by step. And over here, YouTube has determined that you may enjoy this video. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, best of luck.